Hello and welcome to this special Pets edition of the Fort Report. I'm Alicia Woodruff. And I'm Chris Conley. So why are we here surrounded by our furry friends? Well, we're sitting at the PetSmart Fort Worth Animal Adoption Center to talk about responsible pet ownership. Yeah, a Fort Worth woman was recently attacked by several dogs that left her pretty badly injured and left her with a hospital stay. Fortunately, she's going to recover, but the irresponsible pet owners are a serious problem in every community. Unfortunately, the owner of the dogs that attacked in this latest case was anything but responsible. Not only were the dogs running loose, they also were not licensed or vaccinated. As a result, this owner received multiple citations for each dog with a total bill well more than $1,000. I thought you said your dog did not bite. That is not my dog. So what is a responsible pet owner? Well, a responsible pet owner would have their pet spayed or neutered, restrained properly, licensed, vaccinated, and with plenty of food and water. And when we say properly restrained, we mean securing a dog to its owner's yard by a physical fence. Or, if outside of an enclosure, all dogs must be on a leash. A cat must remain within the boundaries of its owner's property. Yeah, good luck with that. And please, spay or neuter your pets, people. There are enough unwanted animals out there without your hussy dog making more litter. And while I'm on my soapbox, please pick up your pet's droppings when you're out and about. I'm not going to say where this came from, but you know who you are. There you go. Uh, yeah, visit the city's website for more responsible pet ownership tips. And it's not exactly news to find out that it's really hot outside, and it's also a bummer that the city's pools are closed, but there's still a great way to beat the heat, your public library. Fort Worth Public Libraries offer more than just books and movies. Isn't that right? These racks and shelves contain a lot of books. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions. How do you feel about them? They're not your parents' library anymore. Our modern libraries have free internet access, there's story time for kiddos, and did you know that some libraries have gaming for teens, including Wii, PlayStation 3, chess, and checkers? Along with book clubs for all ages, you'll find free art exhibits, film showings, and music performances. There are even computer and literacy classes, tax help, business workshops, and more. Get your free library card and start taking advantage of these wonderful assets. And as we move into the digital age, our libraries are changing. In fact, there's a discussion happening right now that will chart the future of your library. You can be a part of this important discussion by attending one of the upcoming public meetings to finalize the library's 2020 plan. Find out how you can get involved by visiting the city's website or calling the Fort Worth Public Library at 817-392-7701. School's out and teens are more likely to be on the streets late at night. But we need to warn both parents and teens that there are limits and Fort Worth PD is enforcing the city's curfew. Last February, the City Council approved a three-year extension of the curfew ordinance for minors. The curfew restricts minors from being out unsupervised between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. on weekdays and between midnight and 6 a.m. on weekends. It's also an offense for a parent or guardian to knowingly allow a minor to violate curfew. Learn more about the ordinance on the Fort Worth Police Department's Youth Services webpage. Chris, we ever out past the curfew? Oh, totally. I used to sit on the front porch and read comics till like 1 in the morning. Rebel. Okay, before we go, we definitely want to give a plug for the PetSmart Fort Worth Adoption Center. You can find it in the PetSmart store in the shopping center located on the northwest corner of Hewlin and I-20. Here, you'll find these animals and many more looking for a good, responsible pet owner. Be sure to stop by. Come get one of these guys, except this one. I'm going to take them with me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.